we are going to continue with the third part in length of a line segment. You will find this on page 302 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. A triangle has vertices P, Q and R. Find the lengths of P, Q, Q, R and PR. Okay, so again, just mark your points, do substitution, and that was square root 40, square root 160, square root 200. It's the best not to approximate it here, because otherwise there can be um, mistakes. Okay, so rather leave it in the root form. Now, show that PQR is a right angle triangle. So, if PQ plus QR squared, okay, so don't forget to square that. Look at the sketch. It's always good to have a sketch. So you may not use it as a proof, but it will help you to just see where the points are. So PQ squared plus QR squared. Now remember, if you square the square root, the root just disappears. Can I just show you quickly again why? So, because if you do this, let me, let me take this as an example. Now, think of indices. If it's, if it's square root, it's actually a half, if you write it as an indice. And then you square it. Now, can you see what's happening now? If you put this over 1, then the 2's will cancel out, and it will just be 40. So, I repeat, if you square a square root, the root will just disappear. So it will be 40 plus 60 which is 200 and if you now go and take what was this one, if you square that one it's also 200 and that's basically Pythagoras theorem. So therefore PQR is a right angle triangle. And then find the perimeter of PQR correct to three significant figures. It's just adding this, this, this and now you can use your calculator and you will find the answer. And then find the area of PQR. Now can you remember the area of a triangle? Um, because this is 90 degrees, you can take this QR as your base and you can take this as your height. Let's just move it a little bit. So it's half base times height. So it's half square root 60 times square root 40 and that will be 40 units. And that will be the final answer. Remember it's area, so it's actually not just units, it's unit squared. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now free just number one. Okay, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. And I think it's quite going to be a long one, so let's just move this first to here. Okay. Let's start. Now in this case, I'm just, I think I'm going to do it like this, a little bit different, because it's sometimes good to do things a little bit different. So a triangle has X, so let's just write the point, 3 and 2, and Y, negative 3 and 0, and Z, 4 and negative 1. Okay, so this will be X1, y1. This will be x2, y2. And now I'm going to do it different. I'm going to call this 3. And now I'm just going to show you how to work with it then. So find the length of x, y. Okay, so let's just see. Let's start with a. Um, if I'm going to find the length of x, y. Now remember, it's going to be Oh, I'm just going to rather use my ruler here. Thought it's the ruler. No, it was not the ruler. There's the ruler. Okay. So if I x y, so it's just the difference between these two. And, and remember what I said. It doesn't matter if you start. Oh, I'm just still on my ruler. So you can say x two minus x one, and then plus. Don't forget. And then it's y2 minus y1. Can you remember I said, if you start with 2, just start with 2 here. Now I'm going to do it like this to see if I fit a little bit more my space. So x2, so this is going to be um, negative 3 minus 3, and that's squared, plus 
and y2, so it's 0 minus 2, and that's squared, and I'm, I'm really trying to see if I can still fit it here, x, y. So this is negative 3 and negative 3, so it's going to be, let's see if I can move it a little bit. I think we can move it a little bit. So this is going to be negative 3, so it's going to be negative 6 squared um, plus negative 4 squared. It seems to me it's struggling a little bit here at the end. So this is going to be 36 plus 16, oh, 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 negative 2, sorry, I made a mistake there. Okay, I notice. It's not, it's negative 2. Can you see? It must be negative 2 squared, so it's 4, and it will be square root 40. Okay, now I'm going to do my next one. So this is going to be yz. So y z. And I want to show you, this is this too. So it's just the difference between x squared plus the difference between y. So what I'm doing now, it's the difference. So you can just say x3 minus x2 squared plus y3 minus y2 squared, which is going to give me um, x3, so it's going to be negative 1 minus 0 squared plus, um, oh, and that seems to me I'm almost in that one. Um, what is this one going to be? x3, so it's 4 minus 0. And that is going to give me, so this is going to be, Let's just quickly see y z. So um, it's going to be y z. So four minus minus three. Oh, it seems to me my substitution was not correct. Let's just substitute there correctly. I'm just taking you back. Okay. So basically, let's start again. X three. So it's four minus minus 3 squared plus uh, this is y3 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 0 squared which is going to give you 7 squared plus negative 1 squared which is going to give you 49 plus 1, which is going to give you the square root of 50. Okay. And then the last one, this one is going to be, and I have to make this yz. So let's just go a bit lower. Y, um, exit. Xz. And now if I do exit, so look, x, z, it's this two. So it's again x3 minus x1 squared plus y3 minus y1 squared. And that's going to give me, now I must concentrate on the substitution. Okay, that is going to give me um, so this is x3, so it's 4 minus 3. And this one is going to give me y3, so negative 1 uh, minus 2 squared. And that is going to give me 4 minus 3. This is going to give me 1 squared. Plus 
negative 3 square and that is going to give me 1 plus 9 which is going to give me the square root of 10. Okay, and now I'm going to go show that this is a right angle triangle. So if I want to show that it's a right tri angle triangle, I just have to show Pythagoras' theorem. So if I show Pythagoras' theorem, let's just see, let's just do this B. It's basically, and now it will be good if you plot the points, because, okay, I'm just going to put the grid on, because it always helps in coordinate geometry. We can keep it in, in black. Okay, so if I was plotting it on a grid, and let's just see. Um, this was not big numbers, so it's 4. Okay, let's see if we can do it here. Okay. It's just a rough sketch, but it's always good to do it in proportion. So take one centimeter. So this is going to be my x-axis. This is going to be my y-axis. So it was 3 and 2. 1, 2, 3 and 2. And that's going to be x. And then it was negative 3. 1, 2, 3 and 0. And that's y. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1, and that's going to be z. And if I take a ruler, then I just want to show you. Uh, I think press the incorrect one. I want to just say red. Actually, green will be better. It's not the ruler. Let's just put the ruler on. Because then it's very easy to already identify where is your 90 degrees. Then it's, otherwise you have to play around with these three numbers, which is 40, 50, and 10, which is actually not so difficult because you can see it's 40 square plus 10 square will give you 50 square. But if you draw a sketch, you can also see that, that if you're on your sketch, you can see that the 90 degree will, will form here. Okay, it don't look like it's 90 there. Let's just try to make it better. Let's make it like this. This looks more than like 90. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to prove Pythagoras. So I'm going to say that xy squared plus yz, so xy plus yz. must be equal to, to yz, yeah, xz, this must be xz, sorry. So it was, um, let's just go, xy, xz must be equal to yz square. And now we can just substitute to see if it's true. So xy, what was that? It was, and remember, it's square root, and I said keep it in the roots, especially when you come to this proofs. And yz, yz, let's just see, that was the 10. Okay. And that will be equal to, now oh, let's just get that 50 correct. And there, that, that will be 40. I have this pen that always struggle here at the end. 40 plus 10 will be equal to 50. OK? 
Can you remember I said, if you square a square root, the root just disappear. So 40 plus 10 will be equal to 50. And that will be the left hand side equals the right hand side. Okay, this is actually standing, I'm just going to say left hand side equals the right hand side. And then I'm asking you find the perimeter and I think I'm go going to rather write here because it's usually when the pen start here at the bottom it starts to struggle. So let's see if it goes better if I do there. So that, that four you can say, you, you can just end off and I'm just going to say it in words. Therefore you can say that triangle XYZ is a right angle triangle and then it's totally completed. Okay, but I'm going to see if I can do the rest there on top. Um, okay, I just want to keep this, so let's just rather clean this. I just want to keep, keep the values. Okay. Find the perimeter, so in number C, this is number C, so the perimeter will be just all the sides add up. So it's square root 40 plus square root 50 plus square root 10. And that will give me, press it just on the calculator to three significant figures, it will give me 16 point six and if you don't know the units you just say units whatever the units will be okay and then find the area now but don't forget if this is your, this is going to be your base and this is your height and I'm just going to write it in so XY let's just see XY was 40 don't forget, square root 40. I'm just, it's always good to run my up, let the sketch help you. And then XZ, XZ was square root 10. And then YZ, YZ was square root 50. Okay. And then if I to go here, I will just go to number D. Number D. This is now going to be the final, final one. Um, and it's just going to be the area. So area equals, and I'm just going to be very, it's again with my base times, and don't forget your half, base times height. And that's going to be a half. And the base is going to be square root 40. And it's square root 10. And that, and if I multiply that to, I'm going to get exactly 10. And now it's area, and that's why it's units. Square. And that's your final answer.